I'd like for both of you to talk a little bit about the level of optimism from a national perspective, both from the cricket community and any entities outside of the cricket community that you think could be assets to the cricket community. My optimism has only increased because of opportunities to meet with people like you guys in this room and, and folks that I've met in um, New York and Washington, D.C. and North Carolina and Atlanta and L.A. and San Fran. Um, but that optimism has only increased with, you know, we were in New York two weeks ago um, for uh, the town hall and, and we met with ESPN while we were there and to see their excitement on the stuff that we're doing. We kind of walked them through some of these things that we're doing here. Um, we've got meetings next week in, in San Fran to, to talk about some of our plans and to hear the excitement and the optimism um, from Willow and, and the things that we're doing to grow and develop the sport. So uh, I have nothing but optimism. And again, I don't come from this sport. It's been a steep learning curve for me. I don't have all the answers. Um, I will continue to lean on all of you and, and everyone else that I engage with to, to continue my, my education in this space. But uh, I think the future is very bright. I think we can um, have some early wins, um, you know, hit some early sixes, if you will, in this process, and then just continue to build on that. And uh, the more that we build on it, the more that we will bring more people into this fold, and the more that we bring more people in this fold, the more reach that we will have, and the more potential we'll have. And and um, you know, we share some office space right now with a couple of other NGBs, and they're smaller sports, but they they look at us with envy, you know, with the conversations we're having with ESPN. They couldn't dream of having a meeting. These are Olympic sports that you know are on a platform like no other in the Olympic Games every four years. That are are jealous of the reach that we have to be able to sit down with an ESPN and talk strategy and and talk um, reach and talk you know big data and. Um, you know, I think the, the big cricket aspect is one that I didn't anticipate that we would have, the potential revenue that we have there, uh, the potential to just leave legacy programs, I think, is, is huge opportunity. So I'm, I'm nothing but optimistic. And, um, you know, again, I would, I would be disappointed if uh, this thing isn't humming along at a pretty good speed, you know, 12 months from now that, that we could all sit back and say, you know, what, we've done a pretty good job, but there's still a lot of work to do. But, man, we're off to a great great start. I think the optimism for me grows, as you said, I've been involved in the process for a few years, um, but every single meeting that we have in rooms like this, that we can go for four hours, five approaching five hours, and everyone is still fully engaged and asking some great questions. I know that's why Eric and I are happy to, to work some, some long hours to give the community what we think it deserves and I think from our perspective and I know certainly from my perspective that I think that you probably don't know what you actually deserve in, in this space from a national federation and I know that's certainly our, our goal is to, to try and show you what true leadership is and what a national federation and how it should service its members so I know that's, uh, that's certainly What's making me quite optimistic that uh, that everyone's engaged in in that process, and because I know we certainly are.